Those rising gas prices are affecting everything from everyday drivers to small businesses, ride shares, and now nonprofits. Volunteer drivers for Meals on Wheels Westlake deliver 700 meals per week across five communities. They tell our Jade Jarvis the rising prices haven't affected operations yet, but they are preparing for the pinch. This is what a typical Monday looks like for Meals on Wheels Westlake transporter Rick Eberts. I take multiple routes worth of foods down. I deliver it and delegate to the drivers. They do their routes. I do a route myself. You're talking about a great group, but a vulnerable group. A lot of them can't get out. They, they no longer have the facilities. And so for them, it's a, it's a simple thing for us. It's a real lifeline for them. The nonprofit delivers 150 meals to about 80 people in Bay Village, Westlake, North Olmstead, Olmstead Township, and Olmstead Falls daily. That's 14 routes and 70 drivers per week. All volunteers like Eberts, which means they're all being affected by rising gas prices. We fuel up a lot, not to mention all the volunteers that are fueling their own cars. So it, it hits the pocketbook. We, we don't get any funding from state or federal you know, groups, so it, everything hits us right in the wallet. And it's not just those direct effects. The nonprofit is also thinking ahead about indirect impacts. We know that it's going to come down the pike with food cost, just like the supply chain hit us. We might have to adjust and pivot and you know, look at what we're serving uh, a little differently um, in order to accommodate for that. But again, a nonprofit is gets hit the hardest sometimes. Cook and marketing and community outreach specialist Brooke O'Donnell says while that day hasn't yet come, they always welcome help from the community. Obviously, monetary donations are always very, very welcome because then we can use those to fit into whatever the, the need is at the moment. Gas card would not be a bad idea, that's right. But fortunately, they're not hurting for volunteers who have continued to diligently fulfill their routes, even as prices at the pump continue to climb. I think we'll still keep doing it. I mean, especially this group here is dedicated, right? And the volunteers will keep doing it and we'll we'll find a way. In Westlake, Jay Jarvis, News Five.